I think the sports aspect is very important. You really need to introduce kids to coding concepts. My sophomore year of high school, I started coaching. So that they can start to build a foundation. I decided to start a sports company. CodePlay Learn got started because we were looking to create opportunities for kids to learn about programming. I love computer programming and what kids do on the computer, but I don't want a 11-year-old sitting in front of a computer all day. When the summer comes around, oftentimes kids disengaged from sports. It seemed like a great combination of two types of camps that don't usually overlap. Offer a full day program that's mind, body, it's a great experience. If we're gonna learn how to make two things today, one is we're gonna learn how just to make a variable so we can get points. I look at coding and cooking very similar. If you can read, you can code. And if you can read, you can cook. But the truth is, once you've learned a recipe, then playing with that recipe and adding here, or adding there, really makes it the meal that you're looking for. And code's the same way. Keep it low, keep your throw low. I coached basketball, soccer, and ran camps over uh, St. Giles for eight years. Nice job, guys, nice job. We stress character and exercise and having fun, and we hope that we can help everybody improve in these areas. And you got it. We're teaching kids the fundamentals of what's going on in their handhelds, in their iPods. They're gonna get an understanding of how apps work so that they can make their own but they can also really become literate in 21st century skills. Henry, you can't take them all on. Or can he? Oh, there's one. There's two. Maybe he can. Well, we do a lot of sports that everybody knows. Basketball, soccer, baseball, kickball. But then we do uh, sports that are unique to legacy. Stuff that we've made up, like Bandit, or Illinois Jones. You know, this would be Medic, and it's different from King and Queen, and hockey. There's dozens of different games that we play that are really only played in our camps. Just like with athletics, where we start kids playing AYSO when they're four, we have t-ball, and we build kids up to where it's more complicated. This is the same too, and realize that you know it's not that difficult. Thumbs up if we've got this. And not only is it not that difficult, with a little bit of patience and a little bit of trial and error, you can really create some fantastic outcomes.